In this tutorial I'm going to uh, create a fork, just your average fork. Um, I've already started my sketch. <clears throat> I've tried it to, to keep it to proportion. So what I need to, I'm in the process of just completing my top view of what the fork will look like from an aerial view. So what I need to do now is, is to add a an arc to get the curve that I like. I will then get the trim tool and eliminate that. Eliminate that, that. There we go. And then zoom in. Eliminate that. Now one of the things that I, I haven't shown you yet is um, <clears throat> some of the mirror features. So if we click on this curve that I've just made, there's an option here that says um, when the pill comes up, it says do you want to uh, mirror. So if you click on that, you've got two options here. One is select the, the curves that you want to mirror. Well, we've already selected that. Now if we click on select the mirror line. So I've got my center line in place and if I click that as you can see it copied to the other side. So let's try that again. Mirror. Select the curves and this time I'm going to uh, I'm going to select this whole side There we go. So you copied the whole side. <clears throat> now we'll trim. Like so. Move that one. So that's pretty much the overall shape of the fork. I also need to add um, a curve on the top. The fork has a nice tapered curve like so. I will mirror that. Beautiful. Don't forget to press enter. After you do things, now we should be able to delete these lines. <coughs> Let's pan down. Let's add a few fillets. and let's add another fillet <clears throat> on the other side so there we go we've got a nice looking shape now starting to look like a fork um, let's add a fillet on the top as well and another one on the other side. So as you can see it's probably better if you with the, something that's symmetrical like a fork to do it just draw one side and then in, at the end just mirror the whole one side <clears throat> which would be the, the quickest way. Now what we need to do is add a 
couple of rectangles. Like so. Now if we We need four more. Just trimming like so. So we start to get our knife, our fork <coughs> looking good. Looks like a weird fork, but that's okay. So with the key to these type of programs is just to take your time to draw them well to begin with and not to rush so that you get the exact shape you're after. So let's have a look at that. That will do. I can delete my center line as I no longer need it. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to extrude this up. <clears throat> we're going to do it about uh, 25, I think it was. Now we're going to get a plane. Off here. And we'll create a new sketch on this plane. Now what we want to do on this plane is to get our side profile. Again, just for the sake of time, I am going to do this using the spline tool, so it might not look like a fork but we'll do our best Then we have to come back So there we have our side profile I should have extended the, uh, the plane out from there but uh, let's see what happens now if I click on this 
and I go extrude so click peel extrude cut all the way through we want to get the intersect and there you have it it's a weird looking fork but uh, you will have a lot more time to do this so you should be able to um, end up with a better result and of course like anything we can then go in and get our select our edges and add small fillets so as you can see there once we add one so if I was to go around and fill it <coughs> all my edges here I'll, I'll start to get a really nice looking fork so there you have it hopefully that's helped have a go at doing it yourself it's a lot of fun <laughs>